imagine if going to a therapist and talking, you understood what your situation was, but it's still there. It's still in your body, you know, still going on. Imagine if you did a ritual like they used to do, you know, like every single culture all over the world forever have been doing, where they emotionally release out of their cellular system. Imagine if you did that and, and you released it out of your body. Imagine that. Then what? Then who would you be? Imagine if instead of taking antidepressants and numbing yourself out and zombieing yourself, you know, and not having any libido or vibrance or life force, but you feel okay and you're not depressed and you're not suicidal, imagine instead of that, that you go and do a ritual, you know, like all of the ancients used to do. Imagine if ritual actually was a tool for transformation. Imagine if ritual really was something that all of the ancients did as a way of developing wisdom, of a transformation for wisdom, you know, deep knowledge, I learned this, that's knowledge, but wisdom comes out of the soul. So imagine, instead of taking an antidepressant and numbing yourself out, you go and do a ritual with a whole bunch of people and ah, get rid of all of that energy. And then there's a different understanding, a wisdom that comes out of you, a place that I know I know, that place inside of you. Imagine doing that instead of taking a pill and going home all by yourself and, and watching TV with no libido. Imagine that. Go and do a ritual with a whole bunch of people, everybody releasing all of that garbage together. And then you get to this real substance of yourself. You just clear, clear. And you, and, and you start seeing the overall instead of just, you know, through a magnifying glass. He said, she said, they said, they did. Imagine if all of the stuff that pissed you off through your childhood, that your mother did to you and your father did to you and your brother and your sister and your uncle and your auntie and everyone, and the school system and society told you how to be. Imagine all of that negative pissed offness. We're not dealing with the positive. We're dealing with the negative. Imagine if you got went to and did a ritual with a whole lot of pissed off people and there got all of that out of you. Imagine that. Imagine how you would look at your mother and father if you got rid of all of the negative stuff they laid on to you and you could see them totally objectively as a human being on their own journey instead of taking it personally and reacting to it and then projecting it onto your husband or wife or children. Imagine if you did that. 